Yo, what's up, folks? Welcome for the ninth and final inning. We'll see what happens. Enjoy. Yeah. Still in the air, it's only a one run ball game. It's only a one run game. Jeremy, you know, Jerry, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing, so. It's going to be Hermita. Now the first batter here in the bottom half of the ninth. We'll see if he can get something going. We'll see. Jonathan Papelbon's going to be pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. Well, no closer comes into a game with more fanfare than Jonathan Papelbon. The hat's pulled oh. down, the eyes are squinting, the lips are pouted. But once he gets on that mound, he throws a fastball in the upper 90s with a devastating split. If I'm a hitter, I'm sitting on that fastball because there's no way I can hit a split finger if he throws a good one. Quick one! Hit in the air, in right, foul territory. One away now. Well, offensively right now, you've got to force the issue. You're running out of time. You've got two outs left in this game, Gary. And I think that from a managerial perspective, he's got to think about putting runners in motion if he gets them on to try to make something happen. And Feliz settles in. He flew out his last time up. Base is empty, one out. The pitch from Pappelbon. Swings a little late that time, strike one. And that's a strike. Pedro Feliz now will have to be careful in there and not let one get by him. Fastball got him two down. I mean the back. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. And in the batter's box, Shoemaker. Lifetime. He's uh, picked up no hits in one at bat off Jonathan Papelbon. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. Here's a swing and a fly ball. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. Goes foul. And this game's history. The offense got it done on the top, and the pitching got it done on the bottom half. And celebration as they head back to the clubhouse. Time now to honor the Pepsi Clutch performer. Well, sometimes it only takes that one big hit to make a difference in the ball game, and that's what happened today. This hitter came up with that big clutch one, so he's our obvious choice for this game's Pepsi Clutch Performer. Well, I got to admit, Carl Crawford showed that he's the man, and so did McDonald. He played his heck of a ball game, game-winning hit for his team, game-winning run, and there's no doubt that he's the Pepsi player of the game. Thanks for everyone for watching. Mark Spencer for February the 19, 2010, no, February 20, 2011. And they come into hostile territory, Steve, and take this one by one run. Well, both teams had a chance to win it. Goes down to the very end, but the visiting club outplayed them. I guess it's that time again. We wrap up this 2K Sports broadcast of MLB. John, Steve, our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Adieu, adieu.